my best to you all beautiful friends who have been supporting me for such a long time. This is Keshar and today I'm going to show you another recipe of mine that I just came up with. It's vegetarian. It is Bagali Polo, but it's not the way that they normally make. This is my version of a new kind of a Bagali Polo. Uh, we have uh, lima beans. Actually, uh, these are board beans. Uh, all the Chinese or um, um, Asian uh, markets have it. Uh, they, all they need is just steam. Uh, you have about uh, two cups of chopped uh, cilantro. You have uh, a three spoon, a tablespoon of sour cream. And you have about one cup of uh, yogurt, some lemon juice, one egg, and of course, onion and some meat. I've already pre-cooked the rice because this is going to be a polo khalebi, something that I would just make it and let it sit. And uh, right now I'm going to show you how to put things together. First, you're going to, what, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make the uh, mix and then, uh, or the mixture, and then I'm gonna mix it with rice and steam the uh, rice. We have a fried onion. I put the fried onion and then I'm going to mix. The yogurt, some lemon juice. half of the cilantro one egg lemon juice and so much request for uh, vegetarian rice then I'm going to mix some of the fried onion the rest of them here then I have the onion and the board beans or lima beans or fafa beans, whatever they call it, with a little bit of cilantro here, some lemon juice, and then <coughs> with some turmeric, pepper and salt to taste. And what I'm going to do, add some oil. To this. I only use olive oil. I'm just going to steam this. this is because this puff of ends or the board uh, beans doesn't take long to uh, now I'm going to add the sour cream to this Also the mint. And the lemon juice.
turned the heat down. And let this steam for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to mix the rice with this mixture. I've already pre-cooked the rice. Add the garlic and the rest of the cilantro. to mix this it, I need it, it if I see that it's not content if it's not enough I would add more rice if it's enough I think I need to add a little bit more rice Just a touch of saffron. I already had add saffron to the rice, so. I'm going to add oil to this, about two to three tablespoon this I wasn't able to cook in advance so that's why I put more oil See, this is how the beans turned out to be. Now I have put oil at the bottom of the pan. What you need to do is to make sure that you prop the oil to the bottom and the side of the pan and then gradually we layer the rice Add the beans. Another layer of rice. Push it down. And 
and then I keep the rest of the lima beans for the presentation. This is optional if you want to put more saffron. Let it soak in. See, it already looks. Cover it and then you let it steam. You just lace it with the oil. Okay, and to you for a little bit. I'm going to tell you about life. What we need to expect from life. The things that I tell you is the thing that I've gone through myself and I've experienced and I've learned that not, we are not here. Life, we need to fight. We need to uh, do everything that we can for our happiness. And our happiness is something that does not involve anyone. Nothing is going to come from outside to make you happy. You have to do it yourself. You have to work on yourself. You have to make sure that the expectation is something that limits you in life. Unfortunately, we Iranian expect a lot from people that we deal with or the people that we love. We think that when we love somebody, we are entitled to have them repay us for the love that we are giving them, which that's not the case. I'm still working on that. It's hard, especially for my generation, to be so loving and so giving and still sit and wait for people to show their gratitude. Because they won't. People are here especially in this country or uh, whatever this because I've been in this country that's what I can uh, say about uh, America that people are either won't give anything or if they give they don't expect anything in return you may have this problem with your children you may have this problem with your partner with your wife or your husband or anyone when we say hello to somebody, we definitely expect to say, uh, to hear a hello back. And on top of that, we expect them to say, how are you? And some people will just ignore 
uh, and they pretend that they even haven't heard you. Trust is another thing that is very important in life, and we really need to be able to uh, trust. Trust comes before love. So in order to love someone, first you have to trust them. And that is where we are going to deal with some issues and that sometimes that is depressing uh, because uh, I remember my God bless her soul my mother would tell me that now that even you're here to visit me you're either texting or talking on the phone and things like that because in her days uh, we, nobody had a cell phone now I can really feel what she was going through uh, because when I'm talking to my children they're not even here they're working on their computer or they're working texting or uh, some of the times they don't even hear what I'm saying so that is the case one thing that I'm going to tell you I just wrote a poem this morning and I don't know that if you know about my book, this is the Bolandi Hai Malavan Bagodar Hai Iran. This is my poetry book. It's in Farsi, and uh, it took me some years to come up with this. It's a beautiful book. I'm very proud of it. Um, I'm going to read you. Uh, uh, one of the, uh, a po you know a poem that I wrote this morning, so I have to read it off my uh, uh, scratch uh, paper because I haven't even uh, cleaned it up yet. It says, "Khodavanda, beto sepordam man delam ra, beto koftam kalam zan baur diyar ha uselam ra, nemi khawham." نمی خواهم من این تقدیر واش گونه نمی خواهم سرانجامم بی انجام بمونه کمک کن تا پای خود کمک کن تا به پای خود برخیزم به دریا می زنم دل را به غیر می دهم گل را برای لحظه های رفته از دست برای نیش هایی که بخوردم منز دوست و جایش هنوز هست خداوندا به تو میدم دلم را قلم زن حاصلم را امیدوارم خوشتون بیاد و هنوز اسمی براش انتخاب نکردم سعی کنید تو زندگیتون از هرچی که دور براتون یاد بگیرین فکر نکنین همه چی میدونین چون واقعا ما هیچ چی نمیدونیم تا دم مرگ ما محصلیم و تا دم مرگ تحصیل میکنیم و تا دم مرگ موظف هستیم و به خودمون و اطرافیانمون مدیونیم که رشد بکنیم هیچ وقت دیدید که یه درختی رو که میکارن از رشد دل بکنه و دیگه رشد نکنه و وقتی هم که پیر میشه و رشد میکنه و دیگه باری نمیده اون موقع دیگه یه حیثیت باقی شماست برای این کسانی که پیر میشن و سنی ازشون میگذره دیگه حیثیت شما و خانواده شما بنابراین به پیرانتون احترام بگذارین و به خودتون احترام بگذارین با احترام گذاشتن به اطرافیانتون خب دیگه ببینیم حالا برنجمون در چه وعظه Rice to it. Cooking is like any other thing. It's something that you really have to have the knack for it. You have to be uh, really loving it. If you don't love something in life, you won't be happy doing it. So, 
Let's hope that this will do the job. And I'm going to flip this and let's hope that it doesn't flop. And if it does, it's fine. Because nothing is perfect in life. We do our best. This is another lesson. This is another thing that you need to learn. Don't ever, don't ever hide your uh, uh, shortcomings. I remember when we were uh, younger, they would always tell us to uh, cover your uh, sh shortcomings. Or, وقتی که ما جوان تر بودیم، وقتی که می‌دیدیم که مثلا یک کسی که یک ایرادی داره، سعی می‌کنه همش ایرادش رو بپوشونه. شما وقت the time that you spend to cover your shortcomings is the time that you take away from getting to know yourself. Live with it. If you are deaf, if you are handicapped, just live with that. There is nothing wrong with that. So, this is Baholi Polo, Keshav style, vegetarian. And see, the, my problem is, and I want everything to be just right, and sometimes it doesn't. So then, then we need to look at that. We need to learn that nothing is perfect, and we are not perfect. Enjoy it. See how beautiful it looks. The combination of the rice and saute onion. And it looks like a cake. And I don't want to break it, but I want to taste it so I can tell you how it tastes. Not that if I, it doesn't taste good, I'm going to tell you it doesn't taste good. <laughs> No, I'm being honest and very frank. Okay, when you cut this, you can't cut it like a cake because it has lima beans in it and things. It's going to fall apart. But so look at it and Honestly, it's so delicious. Of course, I need to tell you that if you like, you can also add meat to this, or you can have meat on the side. But because I had so much requests for a vegetarian, I thought I would make something that it would look and taste as good as it should. So, Enjoy. Sorry that I made a mess here, but that's what life is. Sometimes when you want to enjoy something, you have to not care about what people say. Respect what pe others, but do not res disrespect yourself by allowing them to influence you and take you away from the route that you need to go to achieve the things that you want in life. 
Love you all. Thank you.